welcome to this video playing international master providence from the u.s john bryant john bryant is he a gm now no that's no sorry this is brian smith this he is a gm now sorry yeah this is um this he's a good i am though he's got a very decent five minute rating here yeah this is a funny line that is quite interesting by developed by david bronstein ah uh, there is a line where white sacrifices a piece as well uh, i cannot remember i just have to just have to wing it here yeah? normally playing with them um, well based on good values it's not bad development centralization i'm trying that just developing things castles rookie eight hoping for tempo gains on his queen for example yeah, he cannot take twice rookie eight wins the queen and if he moves castles yeah then i have the um bishop g4 i have bishop g4 here anyway should i do that i mean he does not really have a great a great square for the queen this looks like a disaster actually <laughs> oh a little bit okay he can go there i was thinking queen d2 e3 which is a disaster but what about this there's some way now to break through his king Hmm. Something like e3 or hmm. check. Ah, difficult. Okay, c3. I'm one pawn down in this position. Definitely for compensation, but it's um it's it's difficult very difficult to play i try to to open up now with b5 we takes knight takes i'm on for knight takes e3 knight d2 is probably what he should do i think one problem is he cannot easily castle here <laughs> So, um, do I play a5, a4, this kind of thing, or just takes, if I take it, his queen, queen gets into play, which is really not what I want. Okay, maybe this is a bit of a general move, but... Yeah, now he can castle. Do I go a4 now or not? This kind of thing. Yeah, he's definitely in the game now. I probably have spoiled my chances somewhat. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was it was very tricky to play for both sides. Hmm, really? C5 surprised me. Maybe it's okay, but I was really more expecting him to take. Hmm. 
knight d4. I will just take c5, I guess. And takes d6, I take on b3, and that cannot be really great for white. That would, that would be surprising. Okay, so here I just go bishop e5, and now a3, just ripping it open as far as possible so that I can take on c3. Now this is this is a good attack. Not sure about the objective merit, but it is dangerous in any case. Okay, okay, I can take d5, of course. But this taking the base of this pawn looks um looks um looks looks good. Okay, taking c4. Come on, take it. Queen c4, I can take. Um, huh. I cannot sacrifice the queen, can I? Probably not. Huh? Uh, let's check or queen e5. Hmm. Not sure. If I get my bishop to play somehow. It would be great, but it um, does not look very likely. Maybe c6 for knight d5, so that the knight is, is, is joining. So knight d5, knight c6, maybe. Covering that. I also have rook b8. The knight on d4 is not defending b4 anymore. Oh, wow. Just attacks this. Hmm. Probably not the best way to go. Time but warning. I had to play. Oops, I had to play. Oh, this this is hanging actually now. Check. So do this. Knight d5. This was my idea for knight c3 and and things like that. I cannot take. What is knight c3 doing, really? Uh, and how did he manage to get ahead on the clock? These kind of things I really like to know sometimes. When I was in total command, clockwise. I was really ahead on the clock. Knight b8, yeah. Ah, God. Check. Oh, come on. <laughs> Check. I can go to B3. <laughs> I'm promoting now. Um, uh, check. check. I can just take it. Yeah, and I have no time. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, it was a super crazy game. I really thought. I mean, this this cannot be really great for white. Yeah, cannot. You, whatever you do, you cannot convince me that this should be any good for white. Check. 
with this lead in development and, and things, but it is it is super murky. Yeah, b5. I mean, at one point, I must have had a good position. I'm, I'm absolutely not believing that this um, around here that I'm not good takes a three a3 b4. How do I win now? Bishop c3 wins, but how exactly? Wow, the check in 95. I mean, I'm a, am I blind or something? I mean, check. this is this is like, I mean, I don't have a dog, but if I had one, it probably would find it. Uh, I mean, this is like for little kids, right? Oh, come on. Uh, I mean, okay, this is probably still good. Around here, rook d8 is stronger. Yeah, it's all like minus two and, and things. And here, even here, even here, Check. it is totally okay. I just, I should just, I mean, I really didn't think that the a pawn would be any dangerous, dangerous, but it was. The computer just says I should take and have a clear edge. I mean, okay, I've got a pawn for the exchange. His king is wide open. Yeah, it does make some sense, of course. But I totally underestimated okay. that the pawn is so dangerous. I was just thinking, okay, I'm I'm active and everything, but the pawn around here, it's it's unstoppable. Yeah, and it's very easy. Eh? He just pushes the pawn. I mean, very easy to play, ignoring the rest of it. <sighs> So what is it what I should do after a6? Queen to b8. Hmm. It stops a7. That much is clear. Yeah, but this is useless really to analyze. I mean I just I just win here if I if I go if if, if this is yeah. just 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 a complete win and very very much the consequence of this this stuff. Well, what is this? Knight here and everything's weak and so on. Snatching a pawn here, which opens up the whole position, and so on. I mean, there should be some punishment for that. <laughs> but uh, well, if I overlook this this kind of simple stuff, uh, you can play anything. Oh wow! Thanks for watching.